Watching Eyewitness News at 6 on WUTR. The Oneida County Child Advocacy Center calls have been down since schools and after school programs have closed due to the coronavirus. Our Eyewitness News reporter Shalon Stevens spoke with the Chief Derek O'Mara for more information. Since the COVID 19 pandemic has shut down schools, recreational, and youth programs, Chief O'Mara tells me that the Child Advocacy Center has seen a 30% decrease in their calls. Our state indicators, our, our um, reporting indicators are that in general, schools, um, school administrators, teachers, psychologists at schools, counselors, other school staff um, make approximately one in five child abuse reports all across the state. The Child Advocacy Center in Utica specifically deals with sex abuse in Oneida County. With the kids not in school, they're not around that trusted environment where they're talking with school administrators, teachers, counselors, psychologists, and other school staff that, that they feel safe um, disclosing things that concern them that might be of a sexual abuse nature. O'Mara says this is not like a summer vacation where children can attend programs outside of school. Recreational centers, parks, church programs are all closed due to this virus. The children are really isolated, and I think that's why we've seen this spike that we've seen, which is um, a 30% reduction. It's a spike in the other direction in child sex abuse reports that we've been getting. So with a large chunk of their resources cut off, where do their other calls come from? From uh, medical staff, from other from police agencies around the county, from mental health counselors, from families, concerned neighbors, friends, extended family. Even with these trying times, O'Mara says Child Protective Services and CAC law enforcement are still going into homes. We are equipped with personal protection equipment. We mask up, we glove up, and at times we ask other people and carry masks with us ask them to, to mask up. If you suspect a child is in danger, call the Oneida County Child Advocacy Center. Reporting, Shalon Stevens, Eyewitness News.